All right, another adventure. I'm here with my Hobie Tandem Island, which I think you can see it behind me there. Pulled up, pulled up here last night in the dark, literally didn't get onto shore until nine o'clock and I think sunset was at six. So that gives you a little bit of an idea. I'm here with my dad, his name is Martin. He's back in the bushes there somewhere cooking up some breakfast um, and his boat is anchored over that way. So we sailed here yesterday, Arvo. Um, good winds to start with, dropped off to nothing. I got 30 k's to go and my gun is following there. Wind has died and we're not even halfway. and ended up using foot pedal power and he has a little electric motor for that it was very slow progress we had to go 30 k's to get here and 20 of it was with no wind but uh we made it anyway it was not our chosen destination we're going to fish here for a little while um see if we can catch something for dinner just have an explore and then where i want to go is an island further down the coast we were meant to go there yesterday or last night but it just became a bit too much so we pulled in here ready to go grab my backpack coffee <sighs> fishing rod just go on the light outfit and we're going to walk around and get out of this wind it's nasty I believe that could be some good flathead in here it's getting warm now i'm out of the wind Ooh, hook something. Yes, finally. I was starting to wonder. Gee whiz. Good. What's it going to be? I'd like something for dinner. A little snapper. Might be a little snap. Yeah, it's a little snap. All right, we're going to have to measure this. What they have to be? I think they've got to be 50 here. I'll check the rules. Yeah, sick. Little snap. Mate, that took some string. Let's give this a quick wash. Poor guy got thrown straight on the rock. Oh, I don't think he's going to be 50. I think he's like a low 40. Oh, he's so close. Start 48, we'll let him go. There we go, first fish of the trip. Just a little bit on the side, so it won't be dinner. That oh, was good fun. Come on. Hey dad. He's off in his own little world over there. Let's see what this is. Another one? I think so. I have a feeling that one's undersized as well. More fish. Oh, it could be a flathead. Come on, be a flathead. Yes. Caught dinner. If I land it, yep. Up, up, up. Ah. Oh, that was close. 
We got off. N nearly lost it. There we go. Beautiful flathead. That will be dinner. Well, interesting tile. Yeah, I'm not actually sure on the um, exact species of this one. It'll be in video description anyway. I normally put details in video description of what I'm catching. But um, good fish. Nearly got away. I thought I felt a tap through here, but um, it might have just been me hitting a rock as well and getting stuck behind a rock. But I'll just pull it through once more in case. Yep, I was right. There was a fish in there, right where I got a tap before. What is it? It's a little baby flathead. Good, so good quality sunnies. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, mate. I dropped him on his head. Dear me. Oh, no, he's come to. He's going out. A bit of concussion. There we go. Released. Good. <laughs> Fish following. I'm on. I can literally see it follow it in. I think it's a snapper or a trevally. Biggest snapper, I think. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll take my backpack off. Oh, this one really is a big one. Wow, wow. He'll be 60, 70, something like that. Big fish on 15 pound gear. Nah, you can't. Just wanna make sure he's tired before I actually pick him up. Beautiful. Good size snapper. Put up a good fight. Um, we'll let this one go though. Because we have a flathead, so it will be nice. Maybe if I catch another one this evening, we'll keep it. All right, my dad's just decided to head back and um, start organizing his boat. He wants to do some adjustments of things. I'm going to fish for about another half an hour and then I'll head back and um, pack up camp and we'll sail to the new location around lunchtime. Hopefully the wind has eased a bit by then. But yeah, successful little morning. Started slow, but what? Three snapper, two flathead. Can't complain. An hour's fishing sort of thing so far. Fish wraps for dinner tonight. I feel like we need more than one fish though, there's two people, that flathead would do me. But um, see if we can get, yep, that's another fish. Woo! Feels like a snapper. I'm getting used to their run in shallow water, how it works. He's coming in, he's got a mate with him. Definitely two fish there. Second fish right behind him. I want one that's just on size would be nice. Where are we gonna land him up here?
Nah, too small. Let's chuck it back. Wrong way, go that way. Yeah, under the rocks. Oh, he spikes me, they are spiky. Be careful of that. I wasn't recording. I've just hooked up and I have a snapper on and there's there's a whole school with him. There's heaps with him. Come away from that structure. Oh. Yes, run out, not that way. You can see them all. The others have started scattering now. This one might be um, my size that I'm after. I think he's 50 and I will be keeping him if he is. Give him a go. Looks like perfect size to me. You gotta be about size, surely. Oh, yep, his size to the long tip. I thought he was too small. Nah, I'm keeping him. He's 52, it's perfect size. Phew, another one. So many. Uh, we're gonna keep this one, perfect eating size. And we got two of us to feed. Just gonna have a couple more casts here. If I catch anything, I'll be letting him go now. Oh, is that them there? I can't tell if the, it's a whole line of rocks here or if that's the snapper. Sort of sitting there feeding. That wind is definitely getting a bit more north in it now, I think. Last cast. Last cast. And then we'll start walking back and casting. <laughs> All right, let's head back. Setting up and packing down and... Oh yes, it's a pain pack setting up yesterday. Four hours nearly. Yeah. Yeah. And... Um, you said one hour. I said maybe well, three. I didn't want to, you to lose... Um, uh, well, I, I know what's realistic and what isn't. And your elastic strap's about to come off there. Yep. <laughs> and that one isn't even on. Oh, well. Well, I'll just scrolling up here to... Just first, mate. Safety officer. Okay, um, This looks very safe. Um, anyway. Yep, 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 that's safe. You need more, you need elastic for that one, Dad. For what? For um, your yep. GPS. Anyway. You ready? Yep. Yay. I'm going to point you towards the island. Good? Yep. That's the wind. Uh, once you're around the sand spit, I'm joining you. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There's that. Come on, board. What's wrong? You want your boom higher? Yeah, because it'll whack you if you're not careful. Yeah. I've come up with a new style of fishing. Well, I thought this was going to be a fast paced sail, but the wind had other plans. I really thought we were going to shoot down there with the wind, but um, the wind has backed right off. And today was forecast to be like horrendous. The next couple of days are too. I don't know what is going on with the forecast. Everything seems far less windy than normal. I'm used to it being the opposite way around down south. Just in general, forecast says one thing, blows another 10 knots more. But not this time. 
trying to decide if we're going to camp. There's a beautiful beach on the side there, but I'm going to go pull up at the one around the back because oh, that will be better shelter from the wind that's coming tomorrow morning. But then tomorrow evening we need to go there, so I'm just I'm almost wondering if we just put up with a bit of wind there and just have one spot for two nights. Could be better. Anyway, I'm gonna go around here for a quick look. So still and clear. Sorry, long pause there while I'm just soaking it all in. My dad's just around the corner. He should come in soon enough. Wow. This spot's incredible. I'm just gonna pull up quickly. Oh, it's so nice and cold. Um, I was thinking maybe we should camp at the one around the corner so we don't have to move. Yeah. We can, it'll still be all right. Um, it'll so just have, northwesterly, eh? it'll no, have a um, bit of side wind. No, it's huh? going to come in southwest, which will be perfect for there when it rains. So we're going to have almost straight northerly, um, maybe even with a tiny bit of east in it. So it might not be that pleasant on the beach, but at least we don't have to move. Around there, yeah. Yeah, and it's fairly tucked in. It might be fine as well. Yeah. Right. I'll see you around there. Yep. Calm. It was very calm on the way here though. Race you there. Said I'll race you there. Oh we guaranteed. Sorry dad. The shovel nose ray. Doesn't seem to care. All right, we have dragged both the boats up, unloaded everything. Dad set up his little tent bivvy thing there. And um, I'm gonna set up all mine down here somewhere. Just got the um, little power station running here. EcoFlow Pro. It's my little charging station. Recharge the GoPro batteries and everything else when I need to. You might plug it into, um, plug this camera into it and see if we can get a star time lapse that goes all night tonight instead of it going until the battery goes flat, which is a bit short. But yeah, that's what camp looks like. Going to be here two nights, tonight, tomorrow night. Um, might go for a fish out here later. Otherwise, I want to wander around the back. I think I saw some tuskies around there and I'm going to fill up the fish and get them ready for dinner now. I brought this just to try and extend how long I can keep ice for. Got it in the shade now which is good though but a lot of the time it's sitting on the kayak. I don't know if I'm still going to have ice at the end of this trip but see how we go. Yeah. 
All right, that's all prepped. I reckon we'll have flathead and a little bit of snapper tonight. And then we have a little bit more for tomorrow night in case I have a shocking day of fishing tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna pitch my tent later. I'm gonna go for a fish just around the corner. Bring this. They seem very skittish. Had something on immediately. Keep hooking up and dropping it. Little fish. Wonder if we'll follow it in. Okay. What's this? What was that? Maybe my line. Oh no, it was a little flathead. There it is. I just saw him swim back out. Yep. I reckon I hooked a flathead. Here he comes. Not the smartest fish. Nice little flathead. We'll let this one go and then we'll probably want it back and cook dinner very soon. So. All right, tent's all set up. Back in here. How's, how's this? It's my view. And I have a coffee. Room service. Cheers. Uh, hopefully the tide doesn't come in anymore. I've checked. High tide tomorrow morning is meant to be 100 mil higher than this. So, um... Not a thousand mil? No, 100 mil, which will probably just reach those shells there. Um, not even, and, and the wind will be side on, blowing this way, and then blowing that way in the afternoon. Start cooking in a second. Fish wraps. We'll do snapper first. Okay. Just you sit down and relax. I do know how to cook a meal on a beach. I've done it a few times. Um, can I, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, get the onion on as well now. It's just about cooked. If so you I'm want the onion in it, yeah. yeah well, I'll, I'll put it on here. Yeah, yeah. I do. Okay. Your onion. Yep. Yeah. And salad. Oops. Oops, what? I had this under my armpit. Oh, burning your armpit. Salad. Oh, lovely. Oh, I get two of them. Yeah, oh, what plenty of get? fish. What do you mean, what do I get? I got a whole bag of fish there waiting okay. to go on. And you get tomato unless you uh, don't want it. Oh, I love it. Coopy. Round two, coming up. Oh yeah, just bring salt and pepper, I've got a lemon here. I'm gonna have a bit of flathead and a bit of uh, Snapper combination. I'll, I'll take the lid off this. I'll leave the lid off. You just put it to the side. It's just over here. Uh, I'm just under here. Okay, can I grab this? Yeah, just do your. Go for it. Oh, wow. Mm. 
see that it's screwing. Yep. That dries really good. Oh, and so is this rat. There's plenty more fish if you want another one. I wouldn't mind trying that um, flathead head. Or you just a bit of fish on its own. Mm. If you're not hungry, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't mind a bit of the wrap as well, but I'll wait. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do a whole wrap if you want. This okay. one's so big, I don't know if I want another one. But look, look at the clouds now. Particularly up behind you. Mm. I might want to move up. That's high tide now, but we've got another 100 mil tomorrow of tide, which will bring it to my mat. Oh, I'm going to get up, have a coffee, and um, we have rain coming. So, a lot of rain. So, I'll make sure I'm prepared for that. Southwest is that direction. Glad you figured that out. Huh? I said I'm glad you figured that out. No, the compass figured it out. The compass figured it out. And I just agree with it. The compass is the brains. I think I lost my compass in the water that night. I pulled, I, I got to check my um, PFD, but I had a compass I should have had it on down in next to my VHF. I think I pulled it out and something came out and landed in the water and just went past. And I was like, oh. Bank card or something like that. Yeah, yeah, nothing important, just a credit card. But uh, I have multiple options for navigation. The sun, the moon, and the stars. Yeah, but when you're looking at the, um, the bright light, you can't see anything. I like won't be sailing at night anymore from now on. Stop that. No, thank you. I've moved camp up a bit higher, yeah. and um, I got a tarp I want to rig up, because it's meant to start raining in a couple of hours, and it'll rain all day. I'm going to back that off to pull it down further. Alright, okay. there's the rain. You want that on there or not? Um, I'll let you adjust. I want to get mine up. Are you using both your paddles or not? Um, no, you can use uh, I'm not using any of them. I might steal this one for now. Perfect. All right, I'm all set up. Might get some wet weather gear on, go for a fish, or go see how Dad's going. You got your side of the beach and my side of the beach. I'll trade you an apple. Okay. For some cold sludgy porridge. This is our table, dining table. Yeah. Could be. Let's see what we can catch today. Gonna go the fly set up. Or oh, something to swim by then. But it didn't like it. <sighs> These rocks are something else. Whoa, hey. Big snapper? I reckon. I'm not sure where I'm going to land him yet, if I can land him. He's going to need... 
I need, well, yeah. Need? Oh, look, what are these fish? More snapper? I think they're snapper cruising through here. They look weird in such shallow water. <laughs> yeah, snapper. Look at them all. Oh, oh wow, yeah, this is cool. I don't need to measure this one. Now, can I lift him? Or where's the best spot to lift him? Right where you are. I don't know about that. Nah. Right where you are. Look at like the snapper everywhere. Now, down, down over here is the best spot. Now, it's pretty thick. <coughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to lift him. Should have brought my net. We'll find out in a sec. Yep, all good. Oh, I might need to measure him. Gee, he went hard. He took off like nothing else. All right, nice little snapper. It's a bit small, so I'm going to check it back. We'll keep casting. Oh, poor thing did a side flop. Have one cast with this. And then I'll go the squid jig. Yeah. Yeah, I've got it. I must have a bit of weight on it, unless I've got a squid already. No, that's a squid. Oh, well. First cast. Well, I'm just going to have to lift it up. It's not very big. I can't believe that. Very first cast with a squid jig. Oh, well. Tiny. It's a snack. Yep. Or a very good bait. I can't believe that. Very first cast. That's hilarious. Oh, ink everywhere. All right. Yeah, I barely even got a wind on that and it just was tight. All right, we'll go again. See if we can get a bigger one. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. Wow, they're funny looking. Tiger squid. Pretty sure I've just hooked a snapper on my squid jig. Yeah, it's a snapper. Um, the GoPro on my head has gone flat though, so... I don't know if I'll land it. Do not know. I'm gonna have to try to lift it. And I'll just put this over here somewhere. Oh, my line's on the rock. I'm gonna to have to walk this all the way in. So um, I'll give you guys a quick view and then we're gonna walk it in. <laughs> Seems to have scoffed my squid jig. And uh, my line might wear through, so let's take him in quick. Yeah, to the beach. Okay. Watch where you go. Trying to catch squid and he scoffed it right down. Um, had to walk him all the way into the beach. Doesn't look like he's going to release, it's just it's on his gills, the jig's on his gills. So we we'll dispatch it and um, 
Dinner. Yep. Dinner sorted. All right, I think we're done for fishing. Yep. Yep, done for fishing. Put your shoes back on. Yep. I'm going to um, pick up my snapper, carry him up to the tip. I've also got four squid. My GoPro, head GoPro went flat and I was just catching tiny squid, so I didn't bother to change it until I um, hooked him up. But we'll go collect our gear and head back to camp. Done for the day. Tide's definitely gone out now. There's a crusty looking cooler right now. Just back here in my little oasis. A few light showers going on, Not, nothing too much just yet. Fish is sitting there on the esky. I'll um, clean it up shortly. And just got things going on, charging. Things were a bit flat. Get the GoPros back on, get the phone back on. Still waiting for that rain to really set in. Um, maybe we won't get that much. <sighs> Spiked myself. Not ideal. Fish scales everywhere. lay that there, that should be safe. No birds, hopefully. This is sashimi for lunch, a late lunch, prepped. We've got snapper skin on, tidied up, and um, I saw, what's he called, Outdoor Chef Life doing this, and I thought, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give that a go next time I get the chance. Um, it was a while ago that I watched it, so I may have forgotten something, but snapper, scaled, cleaned up, ready to go. Pour boiling water over it, yeah. The skin all just does that. I think maybe you meant to then put it into cold water, but I don't have that really at the moment. So then I could put it in here to chill it. Now I'm just going to slice it. Nice and thin. So Pouring boiling water on the skin softens it up, I believe, so you're not chewing through this thing. So hopefully... It's worked. I might try a bit now. Got a bit of soy, a bit of lemon. Don't know where I put my wasabi, but I'll find it in a sec. Probably need to slice it a bit thinner, but it is good. Pacific girls behind me reckon they want some. Try a bit. This is the belly piece, and the other bit was the shoulder. Mm. It's good. Skin's still a tiny bit tough. I think that's what it is. Yeah, some fish is less chewy. I won't slice up the last bits. Because I think I'm going to be the only one eating it. <laughs> you don't have to eat it anymore if you don't want it. It's certainly not going to hurt you. Well, though. are you eating the skin too? Mm. 
Mm -hmm. the, I boiled water and poured it over the skin to try and it's meant to make it go softer. Oh, did you put boiling water on this? Mm, I was all fancy. Oh, that's that's cheating then. I thought it was all raw. No, it's still raw. It's just blanched or whatever you call it. It's definitely not cooked. It's definitely not cooked. It just makes the skin less chewy. But you could have it without the um, skin. Is the skin meant to be good for you? Mm. Oh, wow, look at this big one. Yeah, improves your eyesight. Oh, okay. I think you got two bits. That's why you're going to eat all the skin, Dad. Good for your eyesight. Wasabi's good for you, too. Is it? Gives you courage. Oh. oh, well, I need that. Puts hairs in your nose. Okay, well, I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that. Nor do I. The other half. I'll put some lemon juice with, so it's kind of like a half done ceviche. On a Jets cracker. Not bad. He's having some sashimi as well. Good. Yeah, I understand why they don't mind raw fish, though. They like the guts, though. You gonna eat the guts next? No. You sure? The eyeballs? The they eyeballs. like the guts and the eyeballs. They're the favourite. You sure? No. Okay. I'm not acclimatised to it. I'm accustomed to it. Maybe tomorrow. So it's going to get heavier. Oh, it didn't look like it's going to get heavier. We've just been laying back in the tent, relaxing, listening to the rain. And have a look at this. We have a visitor. I don't know if you guys can make it out. There is a yacht. There. Yeah. Uh, it's friends of ours. They said they were going to come pop in. We might have company tonight. I'm gonna start cooking dinner soon as well. I'm just sitting back, relaxing, doing nothing because it's pouring with rain and it is so nice to sit in here. Flight change of plans for dinner. We've got company. So uh, we're going out to a slightly bigger house than my one on the beach to cook up dinner. <laughs> Dude, it's got deep sides, doesn't it? It's huge. <laughs> it's short, but it's huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I've just bottomed it out. It doesn't matter, climb in there and I'll just push it off with you. Alright. We've had it, but it's out of that hard. Okay, of course. That's a lovely fat. We had this one is keeping it home. Yeah. Um and there, uh, this right here. Uh, that right there. Yep. I get that. Yep. And then we sort of just scamper up there. Lovely. Tip, tip the boat over on the way. Oh. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Cooking up in a different kitchen tonight. In the galley of a cat. Bit of a change of events. Oh yeah, and it's just a little electric. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was looking at it. I was like, it's just a little, it. it's a little taser. Yeah. yeah. Don't How bad it. is it? <laughs> no, don't, don't. If, if Ian's telling me not to do it with that concerned look on his face, no. he's obviously tried it and it's no, not good. You got a spectator there, did you? Yeah, I know. He's my spectator. I'm 
I got it. I got everything. Yeah, yeah. I got everything. Fully self-sufficient out here. Yeah. Dad, this is yours. That mm. looks fantastic. Thanks, Gideon. Um, there's probably in the fridge. That, oh, I suppose you've got mayo and all that. Exactly what I just put on just there. <laughs> he heard that too. Oh, so good. Thanks, Gideon. Remember, it drips juice everywhere. Yes, so so the warning is... Paper towel for him, oh, yeah, true, yeah. We got that up. All right, that's... I don't even know if you guys can see me. There we go. That's my dinner. That's his dinner. <laughs> He's got this, see? What are you guys eating? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm teasing. I've got a little bit down here. That would be a share plate. Yep, I've got more fish. I might cook up some more fish later. So our lift is getting ready. Quite nice at night, isn't it? That's a good, that's a good head. Good it is a good torch. It's on full power at the moment. Oh, whoa! Wow. All along here. Wow! So many of them. Push you off. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Cheers. See ya. See you tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Just got dropped off back in the tent. It's quite windy here, but it stopped raining. And um, we're going to end this video here. Thanks heaps for watching. And in the next one, we are taking the prevailing winds, which are going to blow us back up along the coast and go fish um, and explore some new zones up there. So we'll see you then.